so that you actually can listen to the song from start to finish. Just having like an eight bar loop and extend it, that's not a song. Welcome to the studio, welcome to the vlog. Yes, we got the accents merch all ready for you if you're interested. The link is down below in the description. I won't bother you too much with the merch like everyone else on YouTube because it's just kind of annoying and ridiculous. Also, since now the DJ equipment is here, this entire really amazing full Denon Prime DJ set, we're also finally officially opening the DJ school. So if you're interested to learn how to DJ, how to use this equipment, how to DJ with vinyl, how to DJ with a media player, how to use the mixer and all these kind of things, just get in touch with us, we do private courses, to, the email is also in the description. But now let's actually get to, to the main part of today's video, when your music is actually ready for a release. As you know, I'm a producer already for almost 15 years, and just like in the last year, I was finally able to get, for example, bad boys like these to actually make music, and finishing a song is by far the hardest, and knowing if it's ready and finished enough to actually send it out to labels is a very important piece of information. A lot of people are really bad in judging themselves, so maybe let someone else check it. But to get a better feeling, let's just listen to a couple of the track submits, do another track submit edition where you guys sent me songs, I listen to them and give you feedback. And today I will tell you with every song if I think it's ready for release and what's still missing to get it to the point where it's ready for release. So the first song is by Mind Traveler and called Madness. It's a solid song, everything is in there, and I think that's like the most important for a song to be able to send it out to a label, to be able to release it. It should sound like a complete song, so you need to have the full arrangement, like a two minute, 20 song isn't enough for a pop song. It should be like around three minutes, three minutes, 30, for a club track at least five minutes, five, 30, and the arrangement should be interesting. It's like a movie. You need a beginning, a, a, a peak, a middle part that is really interesting and catching the listener's attention and then a, a quick end so that you actually can listen to the song from start to finish. Just having like an eight bar loop and extend it, that's not a song. Here with this song, with the Madness song, that's actually the case. We got an intro, the huge break, the drop and the outro. So that's fine. Also mixing wise, I think it's good enough to actually be released. It's a little bit loop heavy and old school housey, which I actually like. So I'd say it's it's kind of on, on the edge. I think you could release it. I just don't think it would do really well when you release it and you will have a really hard time finding a good label for this because it's, um, it's a little boring and it doesn't stand out. It just sounds like a, a very average song, which is good. I mean, if you're just starting out making music and you can make something like this, that's really good. But I think here a couple of years of experience are still missing, developing a style. I think that the production part is, is already covered, but the, the style and making something unique that stands out and just like improving the overall quality those are the next steps for this song. So maybe maybe in a year, um, Mind Traveler will be able to, to have something that is interesting and unique enough to actually put it out there and, and get some attention. Because at the moment, I don't think that this would happen. Next up, a song called Glitch Hop by Smog. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
different style. I, I like it. This is quite complex. The, the sound, the mixing is all fine. The arrangement is fine. So also here is actually really close to being able to release it. It's again, more a matter of style. I, I hear here something that I actually like and it's like complex and, and it, it stands a little bit out, but it still sounds a little like um, those free songs you can download and use use for YouTube and like just like a sample. It doesn't sound like an artist actually made it. It's missing a little bit of coolness. I think it's here a matter of the sound design and, and getting like the right sounds. It's, it's not bad and I think it's ready for release and this could be used on a ton of videos. This is really good music to actually edit video to but I'm, I'm missing this edgy artist kind of part, the, the, the coolness to really stand out and be able to build up a fan base. And vocals in almost every song would actually help to, to get a release, good vocals make it sound way more professional and labels are more interested in that because they make more money. And I mean, you, you know how this music business works, but a, a good song also here, I'd say like maybe just half a year, maybe just tweaking a little of the production and it's, it's ready for, for release. This one by Godi called Chakra is a big room EDM song. The build up is really good. The sound design is okay. The mixing is okay. The arrangement I think is a little too short for this kind of style. I'm not an expert when it comes to big room. I'd say this could be released, but it will definitely vanish and disappear in all of those other releases. There are just too many releases that are better than this. So I would actually wait um, half a year to a year and try to improve, get your unique style, and then maybe approach like this. By Way Hoser Rotator, not bad. I mean, not my style of music, but definitely something that stands out a lot because it sounds different. It has that certain coolness. It sounds like music made by an artist for for like a DJ producer project. So that's that's really good. It goes into a dubstep kind of wobble direction, which is also fine. So. I think here the weak point is a lot of the derangement. I'm missing like a, a bigger break and a, a more dramatic build up. And also lengthwise, it's a little too short with two minutes 48. So I'd say just work a little more on the arrangement. Mixing is okay for this kind of music. And this could actually be released on a label because that's what labels in this kind of music are looking for. like tracks that just work on the dance floor. The last one by Jay Toronto is called November Child. No rent. Why would I admit to having it if I deleted it? Then when you asked, then I said it's an ass pick. That's some dumb ass shit that you had me fasten it so I could gather grip on the shit that you fathom me. It's actually happened like saying when I told you to choose between me and your bestie. I'm really not an expert for this kind of music. Um, it sounds a little unfinished. It sounds like just done in one recording with not a whole lot of editing and I don't know if, if it's the producer sending me this or the rapper but I think this needs um, a lot of tweaking and like being a rapper it just needs to be spot on you need to be able to compete with the big ones to actually have a shop that's like a whole nother business that is also crazy the same as the EDM business so maybe some of you that are more into this kind of music might be able to judge this song what is missing what could be the next step how to actually improve it and how long it will actually take to get this to a point where it's releasable. Let me know what you think about all of those songs. And if you're interested to send in your songs for the next track submit edition, there's the link in the description. Today we're resetting all of the track submissions. So I will delete all of the old ones that we got over the past couple of months. 
and you got a new chance to be chosen for, for the next edition. I hope you now got a feeling if your song is actually close enough to be released, if your song isn't at least like 20 to 30 percent better than the five ones we heard today, you're probably not there yet. It's, it's a long way. It took me three, three and a half years to get to my first release. I think six years to get my first release that actually moved anything. The ones before were more training than actually achieving anything. It just takes long. You need to experience the business contacts, develop your own style, stick to your style even if it doesn't work, and also adapt a little to what's new at the moment. So have your own style, 80% and 20%. Go a little with the trend, otherwise, yeah, you're just not cool and no label wants to release your stuff because it sounds old. So keep all of these points in mind. Also arrangement, mixing, and just having something that sounds like a finished song than just a loop. So thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to send in your songs. We'll see us tomorrow back again here in the studio for another vlog. Leonard and Max will be back. We'll all work together and just come up with the next couple of ideas. Take care of the remix contest and all of these other things that are still going on. Feeling